High Isle is the latest and greatest chapter from ZeniMax Online Studios. It released on the 6th of June for PC and will soon be out on the 21st of June for console. You can buy it for a whopping $13.99 for the upgrade or if you want to go a bit big, $64.99 for the collector's edition. Well, what exactly does that get you, you ask? Well, let's have a quick look. Ah, uh, yes, an old mount in a different colour, a janky new outfit, and a crown crate you're not going to win anything in. But what if I paid more? Maybe I've got something better. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, no. No, more trash. I'm the trash man! That's more trash. As always, the cinematic trailer overpromises and actually shows you combat which is more in line with chivalry too. But let's be honest, no one looks at these cinematic trailers and actually predicts what they're going to release based on the trailer, right? Right? Ships. They, there's ships, there's there's a emphasis on sailing, storms, all that stuff. Um, does this mean that we potentially could see um, ship combat? Does this mean we could potentially see sailing? Anyway, that's enough look at the cinematic trailer. Let's have a look at the reason you're actually here, which is should you buy High Isle? And uh, I'm, I'm just going to be honest, it's not going to be pretty. let's break it down. High Isle gives you the following. New achievements and titles, one new trial, 10 new sets, five new mythics, two new companions, one card game, and a brand new storyline and a zone to explore. But the question is, is that enough? Is that value for money? And the simple answer is no. No, it's not. Be gone from me, you soy boy beta cock. The transaction is complete. Now, before you start booing, disliking, and everything else, just remember, I've already got the ad revenue. I put an ad like 10 seconds before this. But also, I'm saying this to try and save you money. As someone who spent £30 of their hard-earned cash from grifting on Twitch and YouTube, I was very disappointed with the chapter from the off. And I just want to make it clear, this isn't because it was down for the initial 15 oh, hours from launch. It's because everything so far has been complete and utter bullshit. But listen, this is an honest review, and I can't just say don't buy it. Let's delve into each individual part and that will let you make your own unbiased decision as to whether you think High Isle is value for money. There are five new mythics to unlock, two of which I've seen as being quite overpowered at this moment in time and let's be honest, we'll probably get nerfed by the time the next patch gets released. However, this hasn't stopped the gold rush of people trying to farm these leads. And some are more bullshit than others. In particular, Oakensell with the Merc buy loot boxes. Well, that was fucking dreadful. It's beyond a fucking joke. If you thought the lead, which could only be acquired by the Dark Brotherhood daily, was bad, Merc Meyer takes everything to a whole new level. There are about 15 loot boxes and about 10,000 people trying to farm this fucking lead. I wish I was exaggerating, but sadly, this is so close to the truth. It it pains me. It actually pains me. That being said, though, all you have to do is choose a spot where it spawns, sit there for six hours, and keep spamming E, hoping you get it. Or, in my case, hope an NPC hits the other person unlocking, so you get first dips. Don't worry, though. Whilst you wait, you can watch Zone Chat absolutely lose their shit for the next six hours, and watch them debate the highly regarded topic of, does only the lockpicker get the lead, or do people who peer into it afterwards also get the lead? And yes, this is a question on the forum which the devs can't even answer. But don't worry, the fuckery of the leads goes even further. For instance, the Sea Serpent's Coil, you have to do Major Skill dailies, which literally offer you crap when you finish them. And guess what? It's a daily. So if you use up all your characters, unless you have someone who can share the quest, you're going to have to wait a whole day to even go farm it again. It literally reminds me of a mobile phone game. And in case you're wondering, it took me 15 attempts to get this one lead from the Major's Guild Daily. I have 13 characters. Oh, and let's not forget the one mythic which seems to be PvP related. Yeah, you have to go do Sunspire Trial. That's right, you have to do PvE to even have a fucking chance of getting a PvP lead. Imagine if it's the opposite way around. Imagine you had to get a lead by killing PvP players. Fuck me, the world would be outraged. Fun fact, I actually have both these mythic items. But guess what? I still don't think it's worth the 30 quid just for these two items, which will be nerfed. 
Tales of Tribute was a Hail Mary play by Zenimax to try and get you interested in this god awful chapter. They really did go all out. They even went to the extent of getting Buddy Boyd to voice the actual tutorial, which you can't skip. And guess what? Doesn't matter how famous Buddy Boyd is, I still think Tales of Tribute is fucking dog shit. And before anyone comes at me saying, you just haven't played it enough, trust me, I've played it plenty. I've played it for hours. But the fact is, Tales of Tribute relies on RNG as opposed to skill. And once again, when it comes to leaderboards, it's based on how much you play, not as to how skillful you are. It's great to see that they're keeping this PvP ranking consistent throughout all their shitty leaderboards. The simple fact is, if this was a standalone game, I wouldn't pay for it. If it was a mobile game, I wouldn't download it, even if it was free. So why the fuck would I pay 30 quid for a chapter which is based around a fucking card game? <laughs> I will introduce us to brand new companions oh. that you can play with, role play with, or oh, whatever the fuck else. If, like me, you have over 20k DPS, then you have no actual use for these companions. I'm dying. For the most part, you'll find that your companion oh, spends its time role playing as a carpet and just generally being annoying and useless. It's actually worrying to think that Blackwood is based solely around the companions and now they're just like another amenity that you can have. Although, if they were a crown store item, I would never buy them in a million years. Believe it or not, I have taken part in PvE once or twice. And that being said, I have tried a little bit of the main storyline in the High Isle chapter. However, I just... I, I, how can I put this? It bores the fuck out of me. It's so fucking boring. It doesn't matter how intriguing you make the lore, the fact is, it's fetch quest after fetch quest after fetch quest. I actually completed all the companion quests by not even facing their enemy. I just ran past them all. So when you're running somewhere pushing A, run somewhere else pushing A, where am I supposed to be like interacting here? Where am I supposed to be immersed within the lore? I actually took my weapons off and went around punching people and went first person to try and make it slightly more difficult for myself. But the fact is, when the combat and the bosses and everything else is just so fucking boring and lame, how am I supposed to get involved in this story? I might as well go fucking read a book. It amazes me that they still haven't upscaled Overland PvE. The fact that you have builds out there that can do 110k DPS, and then you're put in front of a boss with zero mechanics and 200k on a health bar, it comes across as very insulting to the average player. It just means it's once again less immersion, less real, I don't know, pride in doing the main quest? No one ever turns around and goes, guys, I just beat Mono Ball the other day. It was really hard. It's just a joke. In regards to the new trial, I haven't done it yet. Um, I have no real reason to go in there. There's no sets that I want for PvP. There's no achievements or collectibles I want. I have no reason to go in there. In regards to the Overland content, I've got all the Sky Shards. I've done all the Volcanic events. I've done every public dungeon. I've done every normal dungeon. There's not really much left for me to do. And this is a 30 pound chapter which promises 30 hours of content. I've done it in a day and I'm not talking 24 hours, I'm talking like 5. If High Isle was one third the price that it is, you might consider buying it and being like, okay, it was worth the money. But it just isn't. As something which is supposed to be shiny, new and glossy, it really has a taint old rusty vibe to it. The same old recycled shit with little or no real imagination around it. I know some people will disagree and be very in love with the lore, but that's very typical of the Elder Scrolls fan base. People love the lore of Elder Scrolls, no matter what the fuck you're doing. However, as someone who's been playing the game for eight years, I just feel like it's the same old recycled crap. I have no interest in the companions. I have no interest in the lore. And to be honest, the only time vacuum that this has is the mythics. And let's be honest, it's because you're sat there for six hours trying to get a fucking lead because they fucked you over. Not because you're enjoying the hunt for the lead, but because they've made it extremely fucking difficult. In years to come, will people turn around and be like, oh, I really liked that High Isle chapter. It was great. I still play it to this day. Not fucking likely. It's going to go a very slow and sad death, the same as Blackwood. When you think of chapters that really helped shape The Elder Scrolls Online, you think Morrowind, Greymore, Somerset. Not fucking Blackwood or High Isle. So my advice to you is, if you can wait it out, and not be pulled in by the overpowered mythics and get this at a discount price, you won't be dissatisfied. But if like me, you're drawn to the mythics because of how OP they are, and you just want to be at the front end of PvP or PvE, then ask yourself, is it worth 30 quid? Or can you simply learn to swap bars? Hopefully you find this video useful and it helps you decide if you want to purchase High Isle. 
by all means if it has been useful leave a like maybe even subscribe and uh hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next one and with that bye bye and it is not a hardware issue if it was as simple as add more ram or add more servers we would have done that a long time ago